Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for Doctor Strange Issue 12, 2023. Ooh, this is an interesting cover because I like that it has Doctor Strange and bats, and bats at least works because this is a very bat-centric book this time, and I really like it because bats... I mean, during this run, we've gotten more kind of bats and everything. I mean, he's been integrated pretty well since he's been introduced into Doctor Strange. But I love that we get one that focuses on him and dealing with what's kind of going on in this. And it's a nice kind of other kind of come down issue, setting up kind of an interesting story that we'll see how long it kind of takes. And we'll have to see where it kind of goes. I think this is more kind of like a interlude kind of arc, palate cleanser kind of, if you will, but I'm really long for the ride for it. So, we see somebody's narrating, talking about stories, love stories, war stories, and of course other kind of stories as we see. I love that this art style is evoking like, like the 60s and like the 70s kind of style of Doctor Strange and everything, and we see him confronting the Vashanti as they're like, you fucking treated with the Trinity of Ashes. Yes, the Trinity, a great evil, who are of who are more aid than you. And just seeing him kind of like, be like, you assholes. And it's like, yeah, you kind of have to deal with that shit. And then we see about ghost stories, and we see bats. And him being like, Doc and the Vishanti barking at each other. Happens all the time now. Don't know what's going to come of it, but that's not my business. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what ramifications are going to be going on with that. Because the Vishanti kind of, they fucked up a lot with this. So we'll have to see how Doctor Strange kind of deals with that. I'm a dog. That means all I care about is looking after my people. So that's why I'm waiting here. It's like, good dog bats. Doc, of course, is kind of like blowing off some steam and everything. But we see that, like, he sniffs and smells something, and he's trying to get the do uh, get Strange's attention. And, like, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, Bats. I'm quite caught up with the drama of my profession. Oh, that's okay. Hey, Doc, something smells fishy. Steven! Steven, we were required. Mindless ones are afoot on this Broadway of yours. Again, by the hoary hosts of... Never mind. Doc, about what I was saying. How does this keep happening, Clea? What that I knew, darling. And it sucks because... Bats needs to tell them something important. They'll grant they're going off to have their own, uh, have to deal with the stuff that they got. And I love Bats. Oh, never mind. Good luck, Doc. And it's like... So then, he starts going off on his own to figure out what's kind of going on. It's okay. That's the Doc's job. Keeping people safe. Just like it's my job to keep him safe, keep the Sanctum safe. Because I've got a good nose. I'm like, yeah, Bats. Fuck yeah. And it's telling me that there's something bad running around. I don't know what it is yet. But it stinks. And I love that we see the foreshadowing of the mirror as we get further. Came through here. Hey, bats. Bats, bats. Sniffing for rats, cats, brats, brats. Like a bratwurst. Dogs like sausages, right? We like sausages. You got any sausages, bats? Do I got any sausages? Listen, dummies. You two see anything weird around here? Because I've been smelling weight. Do we see something weird here? Where do you think you are, batsy bats? Weird? Ha ha ha! As the snakes are laughing, he's like, oh god. I feel for bats on this. Huh, hey, I seen a talking ghost dog, how about that? And some spookily handsome snakes, haha. <laughs> Forget it, thanks for nothing. Hey, come back, we got more material snakes. Bunch of no goods. Not like a good dog. Whatever else I am, I am a good dog. And I'm going to sh uh, show everyone why. As we do see uh, a figure darkly creeping around, it's like, shit. So we do get uh, Clea and uh, Strange back. Is what I'm saying. There's something in the sanctum and I can smell. Hmm. Well, the sanctum can be dangerous. I wouldn't know if something entered. Nothing can cross the boundaries without my notice. Oh, yeah? What about the black cat? As evidently she did. And Clea's like, what's going on here? She was different. She had the aid of Xander the Merciless. She? Am I to assume that strange women entering your home is a regular occurrence? Yeah. Like. Yeah. He is Doctor Strange and he deals with weird stuff and... Yeah. And besides, I believe she also fooled my faithful guard dog, did she not? Okay, she tricked me. So what? The snakes just let her in. She didn't even have to trick them. Snitch. Rat. And the snakes are like, fuck. And the rats are like, oh. That was an extraordinary circumstance. It had better have been. No bats. If some great evil had entered the sanctum, I would know. But then we see the dark kind of figure there. It's like, oh god, what? We'll see how that works out. And then we see that it does start to do some weird stuff as one of the snakes pops and says, 
hey, I think uh, maybe you're right about something being weird here. And then Bats first is like, is this a prank? Where's the other one? I don't know. The shadow took him. The shadow? Yeah, the shadow with eyes. Did you tell the doc? He told me to knock it off and went back to sleep. He didn't believe me. You know, on account of all the lying. We really like lying. It's like, that's the repercussions there. Come on, show me where it happened. And Bats is like, nope, we gotta investigate this. Because they're being serious. Gotta catch that shadow. And gotta, we can do it. Then the Sanctum will be safe. The Doc will be safe. Just, we just gotta, uh, we just gotta get him back. I don't like being the only snake. And it's funny that we really haven't seen the snakes much. And then just getting so much kind of character. Of like, I, I don't like being the only snake. I feel for him there. And then we see the snake in the mirror. It's like, what the fuck? And of course, they can't talk to each other through the mirror. And he's trying to get their attention as we see someone say good eating. It's like, what the fuck? And they've got pointy teeth. It is all about stories, you see. Love stories, war stories, ghost, stor uh, ghost stories. After all, who doesn't like a ghost story? And this one has everything. Who? Oh, forgive me. My name is Victor Strange. It's like, this is great because... Even though this is kind of like a plot dump, an exposition, I did not know about this character, and it's interesting to learn what they're going to be used for for this story. You are, of course, both parts of my brother's story, as am I. But I? I am the villain. The, uh, the brother he failed. The vampire he created. The ghost he ignored. It's perfect, is it not? Drenched in drama. And ever since imprisoned here, trapped in the mirrors of the Sanctum Sanctorum. Trapped in the Crypt of Shadows until I escaped. Crypt of Shadows 2023, issue 1. I did not know that. Thank you for that. And it's hard to do that without feeling extra dumpy or whatnot. But I like that they were able to do this without just, like, regurgitating a lot of stuff. My life was taken from me. My freedom. My very heart. And all that was left were the stories. Doc? Doc? No, I don't think that I'll allow you to call my dear older brother. Not until the story reaches its end. We are both ghosts, Faithful Hound. So I wonder, could my vampire fangs pierce your neck? Let me down, you creep. No, that would be beneath me. Even the villain should never kill the dog. It's cheap, sentimental storytelling. But I can't have you running around telling tales. That's my role. He then takes them both and throws them in the mirror. Alistair, woof. No, no, I'm going to get you. Oh, Bats, I don't think you will. Not trapped in the crypt of shadows like I was. And Stephen won't know I am here until I choose to reveal myself. Because he is so certain that nothing has come into his house without his knowledge. Because I was here all along. And now I'm free to go where the story takes me. And that's the weakness. And it's like, if something would have entered, I would have known. But something's off. Strange needs to watch out for that. So we get the morning. Coffee, darling? Yes, please. Dark. Dark dimension roast, of course. I wondered what that snake was up to last night. Was it Anton or Alistair? I can never tell them apart. Perhaps Bats could tell me. Now, where is he? As he goes by the mirror. And we see them trying to get his attention. He must have gone for a walk. Love stories, war stories, ghost stories. But mine is the best because it's all three. It's like, ah, oh shit, what's going to happen here? Now, granted, the preview for the next one, Meet the New Secret Defenders. A sentient role-playing game has transformed New York City into a fantasy world. To save lives and reverse the spell, Doctor Strange must gather a team of secret defenders. Will he be able to lead Black Cat, Taskmaster, and Hunter's Moon as a team before it's too late? That sounds kind of crazy. But we'll have to see how this story kind of works into it as well. Having Victor Strange around, running loose in the Sanctum Sanctorum is not good. I mean, granted, he is a vampire ghost, which is a very interesting combination, but we'll have to see what he could affect and what can go on. He has already tossed bats and the snakes into the mirror, so he has some control of that kind of aspect. If he could gain other kind of control or other kind of magic, that would be very bad for Doctor Strange and Clea. And like bats and everything so it'll be interesting to see how bats and the snakes get out of that and i i was not expecting this i didn't know what i was getting into but i like that bats had this kind of thing going on and i hope it's not completely dropped because i would kind of like this to continue on even though the next preview sounds pretty cool as well uh i would like bats to have his own kind of hero moment to like get through and uh prove himself for himself to Doctor Strange. Even though I know that Doctor Strange does believe in Bats and does value him as a team member. So I really like this one because it gave more character depth to Bats, to the snakes, 
and set them upon a credible kind of threat to actually deal with. So I'll, I'm interested to see where that goes. So those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Also, like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.